in this video i'm going to show you the end result of our analysis so this is our main page that we have built and inside this page we have uh, developed several visuals as you can see and we have here our donut chart and in the background we also have included a single cut value showing us the total units so uh, and beside it we have this bar chart and the way i constructed this i changed my uh, y-axis label instead of the default position in the left hand side i just change it to become in this right hand side and i have also included this average line and uh, as well as the bar chart colors i changed it i changed it uh, according to a gradient color okay, based on the value of our total revenue okay and below that uh, area we have this uh, column chart and similar like our bar chart just now i have changed the column chart colors but instead of using gradient color for this chart i just change it into uh, the three different colors based on the total revenue and i have also included this average line inside this column chart just to show us the average revenue by category and we can see that the average revenue by category will give us a different value than the average revenue by manufacturer okay so up here we have included uh, a simple slicer using this vertical list okay this is using our segment column from the product table and uh, the last chart over here we have this line chart uh, showing us the uh, time-based analysis okay uh, accidentally i have also shown you a feature here which is what we call as a custom tooltip so by default if we move our mouse cursor on top of any bar we will have this default tooltip okay so this is the default tooltip given by power bi showing us the detail uh, data for this bar for example the manufacturer name and the total revenue okay, same goes for any charts that we have created so if this is the default tooltip we can change this tooltip to to use our own tooltip okay for example if i hover my mouse on this data point here uh, I have this custom tooltip showing us the top 5 products based on the total revenue. So this table here in our custom tooltip here will keep on changing depending on the position of our uh, mouse cursor. Okay. And the last feature that we have in this main page is a, a, a new cut uh, showing us multiple values inside a single cut container and now i'm going to show you a feature available in power bi which is what we call as drill through and for example i have created a single page drill through for this region okay regional analysis okay what happens now if i select a single donut slice for example this west region so i click on it okay by default okay the default behavior all the visuals inside this main page will show us the analysis for west region okay additionally since i have created a report page drill through i have this button here which i uh, build uh, as a custom button in this main page now i can click on this button and it will go to our drill through page so this is the drill through page showing us the detailed analysis for the region that we have selected just now which is the west region so this is the three map uh, showing us the total revenue by state in this region west region and uh, beside it i have created these two metrics visuals so the first matrix is is showing us the top five states the second matrix is showing us the bottom five states Okay, and below that we have this area chart showing us the uh, total revenue progression uh, based on the years. Okay, so uh, right above this area chart, 
uh, I also created this uh, slicer using the segment column similar as per what we have seen in the main page except that I have changed it uh, instead of using what we call as a vertical list I'm now using it as a drop down list okay and the last one at the bottom here i'm showing two different column chart okay the first one uh, this is the column chart for the top revenue state which is for now is ca and the second column chart here is showing us the revenue uh, categorized by bottom revenue state okay so this is our drill through page and uh, when we build this drill through page uh, automatically we will have this back button created for us by power bi so if i click on this back button it will go back to the previous page that we have used before okay so this is the end result that uh, we want to get at the end of this video series so uh, stay tuned for the step-by-step -step videos coming in in future and hopefully you will be able to replicate these uh, reports in your system as well okay